What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome back. Welcome to stream. We're back. We're live. We're doing things and stuff, and I forgot to set the game. How's it going, guys? What it be? Uh, let me fix this. <laughs> Grab that. Grab that. That should fix it. There we go. Return of Max G Taco Fister. Damn right. The legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Technically today we are going to play God of War, but it has been a rough week. And I just wanted to play more Fallout. So we're doing more Fallout. Invader Zim is amazing. Highly recommend trying it if you can't trying it. I guess watching it if you can. Um, that looks good. That looks good. Nothing's overtly exploding. Right. I freaking adored Invader Zim growing up. They released a new movie on Netflix a couple years ago, and I haven't watched it yet. So I don't remember where we were. This is where we were. I remember where we were. So we need to do something. Oh yeah, he's been pardoned. Uh, we got a man pardoned. I was actually in the middle of an episode before he went live. Hell yeah. Is it still on YouTube? I would like for it to be on YouTube. You've gained the day tripper tripper perk. What is I don't know what that means. You've done enough Kims to know how to hang on to the effects just a while longer. Oh yeah, we're cracking. The Big Smiles guy was uh, Zim inspired in terms of general design. It's such a cool design, that show. Long time ago, I watched like the entire series on YouTube because, you know, there was a time when YouTube used to be the Wild West. Where's our new sheriff? It's not you. Oh, that's right. He's standing out up front like a creep. I don't remember where, but I do remember that today I saw somebody's name on social media was Macho Taco. No way. Someone's stealing my IP? Oh yeah, we got a new outfit too. <laughs> He's got such a small head. Every now and again, someone will just upload like a whole show on YouTube and it's amazing. But you gotta strike fast. All right, we got ourselves a sheriff now. And yes, we're not stopping until we're 100% guns. Shotgun surgeon. While using a pistol, your accuracy and VATS is increased. Ooh. I want gunslinger. Is the stream not live for you? What's up, American? How's it going? Can you can you see me enough? Can you hear me? <laughs> Data. I feel like we're missing a quest. 
Howdy. Let's go talk to the NCR guy, and then after that, we'll just be on our way. Your dog is acting like Gurr in the background. <sighs> that is very accurate. She is very... She would fit Gurr, and it kind of makes me feel bad that we didn't name her Gurr. Also, it's wild that the mic can pick it up. I have such a noise gate on this thing. <laughs> That's how loud she's being. That's YouTube. Yeah. Alright, well, Lieutenant Hayes doesn't care. Alright, I guess we completed our mission and we're on our way. Who does your hair? How do you get hair dye in the wasteland? Alright, uh... I'm lazy. We'll fast travel here. It's a beautiful man. Just installed Fallout 4 VR. Hell yeah. Even though I know New Vegas and 3 is better, I am a little excited to dip my toes in Fallout 4 again. Also the fact that we will be able to make such an abomination. I can't even speak English. Minimum wage gamer, what's up? How's it going? Such bright green, it's a wild. I mean, it's gotta be some radio radioactivity going on with our hair. I mean, we're not a vault dweller, so we're probably pretty radioactive. It's me, Coaster. <laughs> you changed your name to the Minimum Wage Gamer? Or is this a different account? Also, how's it going, Coaster? Okay, getting that increased accuracy on the pistol is kind of amazing. Oh my god, we made him explode. I'm only here to communicate directly to tell you this, so I'm gonna go to the mainstream now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Guy's green hair because he's part <laughs> I can make this cannon. I I mean I'm game. Hey minimum wage coaster. That's a good name too. <laughs> if you ever want an alternative name, name yourself minimum wage coaster. Does it make sense? No. Is it fun? Yes. So why is chat so far above my name? I'm not going to fix it, but I just now noticed that. Not above my name, above my face. I can is uh, Zim's alien species, by the way, but I think you remember that. I actually did not remember the name of them, so I do appreciate the explanation. I need to rewatch the show. It has been a few years. This is a big boy. Also, though, this man being an alien makes sense. And we know aliens exist, so we got that as well. Invader Zim. Yep. Is there anything going to try to kill us here? Not much of a pit stop. And we don't have anything to cook. I'm so fat! It's such a good cartoon. It's so good. 
And then it got cancelled because the intro had blood in it or something. Oh, uh, hello. Also, I can say I finished the Fallout show, and it's amazing. I loved it. Maybe it's a hot take, but I think it was really good. The movie? What movie? The Fallout movie? <laughs> Ooh, cowboy repeater, I want that, even if it makes me fat. Who the hell's shooting me? Peak Nick Choate, Nick Choate for real, though. Also, the, uh... I could be getting some of my lore wrong, but the creator of... The creator of Invader Zim went on to make a comic book called Johnny the Homicidal Boy or something like that. Um, they could have been. I don't know. I thought they canceled it because in the original intro, Gur gets covered in blood. I think it's a reference to, uh, what is it? The movie Carrie. Seven words. Minute. Okay. I am the, exactly the same way. I don't watch shows usually when they first come out. But I was hyped for Fallout. Exactly, it was like one frame. It was garbage. As a former child, I never noticed it. Honestly, we could use less dynamite. Yeah. And then System of a Down made a song about it. Literally called Johnny. Right. I like I like when an adult can watch a cartoon with you because the kids are too stupid to <laughs> The kids are too stupid to know what's going on. And it gives the adult something fun. Hey the pilot's on YouTube. On a channel literally called Invader Zim. Trying to find like a trailer or something. I don't know, so I'm gonna do one of my favorite ones. Hey, Mandy. Five points for me. What are you doing? Make me. Stop eating the drywall. Okay, so I just had a. Uh... I just had a Mandela effect, I think, happen to me. Because I thought this was an Invader Zim moment, but I was wrong. It's actually a Billy and Mandy thing. So for some reason, I thought this was from Invader Zim. Where does it start? Okay. What's with all the Tangelos? Counting Tangelos! Message with the equilibrium! Who told you that, Bunkus? Where the hell does the actual clip start? Anyway, there it is. Got to get over this the clowns are nothing but ultimate evil! They want to be the dominant species on the planet, and they'll destroy us all to make it happen! Destroy us all! Oh, that Destroy does make sense. All. It's the same actor. Destroy us all! 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 I'll take the 
striking. Destroy us all! Oh, I've quoted this for so long. I mean, if you can even call it quoting, I'll just randomly start saying, destroy us all! Destroy us all! all right. Billy and Mandy was great. Skin condition, Zim? No ears? Yes. I see how you thought this one version. Doesn't it sound... Can't you picture Zim screaming that? Your smelly mouth filled with corn! I haven't been eating corn. Liar! I'm going to destroy you, dick. Okay, I warned you. It's been nice working with you, Gur. Now self-destruct. Finally! <laughs> Gur is my spirit animal. This clip What's montage isn't as good as I thought scared it would be. Scared of beans. Space Gur's boy. suicidal. That only I'm further scared. makes him a great spirit Ridiculous. animal. Wait, sorry. Gur's all the things my brain loves, but keeps him fresh. I'm posing dramatically oh. when the dib shows up. And him. What? Uh, 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 uh. Weren't you banished to food cordia? Shouldn't you be frying something? Oh, I quit when I found out about this. You quit being banished? Normal! Nonsense! It's my medication. Everything's so gross in this cartoon. Perhaps only this little girl knows. Are there actually good clothes? <laughs> Yes, Zim is pink. Monkey. I am a perfectly normal human worm baby. You have nothing, absolutely nothing to fear from me. Just pay no attention to me and Okay. I'm gonna go home now and prepare some more. But I'll be back. And from here. I'm trying to remember clips. I feel good about how today went. Oh my god, the teacher. Miss Bitters? Zim's trip to the restroom has lasted a real long time. I recall you spending quite a long time in there recently as well. That was corn and mayonnaise day. Oh, that's no excuse. Corn and mayonnaise day. <sighs> My business is done. Now, dear, I'm gonna start saying that now. Was My business is done. <laughs> Invader Zim had the original Five Nights at Freddy's. I love the way she moves like a It was so freaking cool. The original Five Nights at Freddy's. Even though those aren't animatronics, I think they're just people. Maybe they're animatronics, I don't know. Fox in announces my business is done. I'm just doing that. Five Nights at Zim's. Now that's a game I could get behind. Whoa! Oh man! An alien! An alien! False alarm. You're False alarm. alarm. That's all I want! Gah! Invader Scooch! I haven't watched the movie yet. I want to watch it. Scooch? I thought the almighty Tallis killed you. Yeah, but I'm okay now. They said to promote me if I pass the evaluation. <laughs> Foolish, gullible Scooch. I must get my equipment, or I won't get it! Well, was that everyone? I hope that was everyone! Let's go! I'm hungry! Okay, well, there is Zim, but I think he stopped being alive. He stopped being oh, well, alive. Let's see! Hmm. And then, then, Dip says, Rawr! In front of the whole class! Filthy slug! Miss Bitters called on me! Understand? Filthy, squirmy, Dib! Squirmy! What are you talking about? Who are you? I can't believe the things that you I'm unbusinessing your done business. To me, me and uh, uh, Dib. Why are you following me? I don't even go to your school. And the 
Doesn't he like ruin Deb's life? So I don't remember. Doesn't he ruin Deb's life? Child with his little glasses and his uh, uh, head. My name is Deb with my pointy hair. Pointy hair. I eat food and have stuff. I saw that. That's good. There. Your That's mighty good. European cloaking device cloaks the robot, but democracy? not you. This art style is my absolute favorite. It's so satisfying they to look at and so uncanny. I love it. it. I can't. It's invisible. But you can see me. Playing alone because I have no friends. You can't play alone. Oh, I, I keep up with stupid. randoms. Really stupid. Please I have to keep up with randoms. Thing. I can't do it by Thanks myself. Thanks to the bravery of this child, the world will never have to deal with the threat of life ever again. <laughs> the pain. Chicken foot! Come back! You're not a we got it. We all got to group up. stupid! I'm sorry, you have two discs overdue. We'll have to confiscate your retinas. <laughs> the knowledge, it fills me. It is neat. Yeah! Long distance communication back online. Now, let's give our friends a call. Gaz is great. Yeah. Gaz is MVP. My brain! My brain! Do oh yeah, no Mega Mind invaders in. Listen, you gotta confiscate the retinas every now and again. The devastation of famine! Pictures of my birth! Hi, I'm Mr. Twiggy, the new counselor. What happened to the old counselor? Something horrible. Help me. That's amazing. So, you want to tell me what's wrong? Chip Chip, greetings, fellow students. We're Isn't appreciating invaders in American. Hurry what's on up? And chippy -ho. Awesome. Here's the cartoon or the comic book, I think, made by the same person. I've never read it, but it's just a fun fact. And there's also a uh, there's also a system of down song named after this character and about the character, maybe. Uh, obviously, I can't play that because YouTube's no fun. What did I just walk into? You walked into fun. The appreciation of one of the best cartoons freaking invaders in hi vicklin how's it going destroy us all destroy us all <laughs> why did stepping on that kill me why did that kill me put a video in a link all right well, let me check a look Purified water. Get rid of some of this extra food we have weighing us down. Right. Gravity Falls. I've heard really good things about it. I never watched it. Tower has gone. Internet hates me today. Gonna leave soon too. No, you're all good. The metal is real radioactive, as in so <laughs> radioactive brain melted upon contact. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. What is this, American? I like it because I want to experience it. Let me... I'm out just wanting to watch a face of art. Have a good one, Mini Monkey. Okay, this all looks really good. Gravity Falls was my childhood, like Steven Universe and Undertale. Yeah, I think I missed the bus at Gravity Falls. I think that's when I was out of cartoons. Up until when I stopped watching cartoons, though, I had seen every episode of Spongebob multiple times, and I am not ashamed of that. Is 
This is a pretty good interpretation. It was on April Fool's, but it wasn't a prank, it was a teaser for the mod. Let's see if I can survive extraction. I believe in you. Do it for, for democracy. Okay, the cave looks freaking sick. For liberty, exactly. The cave, they did an amazing job on the cave. They look easy to kill with the big bulge on their backs. Have you fought the giant mechs that the robots send out yet? I fought one for the first time last night. That's terrifying. Gonna take a stab at Invader, Invader Zim fan out soon now that we mention it. I super approve. You guys want to, uh... You guys want to be scarred by television like I was? The Fallout 1 remake is better, but their videos are like 28 minutes long. That's pretty wrong. Long. This is a, a scene from Spongebob that's burned into my brain. Would you guys like to be scarred? If it's the Zim Organ episode, then I'm scared already. It's not that, although that's a good one. But this one I've never been able to forget. Okay, it's on my foot. Not oh, Bob, I told you not to move it till I see it. Why do you keep moving it? I don't know why, what's wrong with the audio, but God, that is just okay, not right. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh god. I remember being shocked when I saw that cuz I wasn't I don't know, I was probably like an early teen when I saw that one in particular. And I just remember thinking like they're allowed to show this on like kids television. This is kind of brutal. Man, my days room. Listen, I've never been able to forget that scene. So I'm glad I can bless you guys with something similar. I think most people watch stop watching SpongeBob after it got like that though. Yeah, I think that was definitely towards the end of my run. How could you forget that? Legitimately, I've never been able to forget that. When you say SpongeBob, that's one of the first scenes that come to mind, even though I love SpongeBob. Or loved SpongeBob. I haven't seen any of the new stuff. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Where are you friendly? Did you see that? That guy was getting Fun fact revealed the writers for that season had a bit of a they were very interesting in writing episodes where Squidward is badly injured, probably into tentacles. Love that. Love that. I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that That was a race from my memory until away. now, so thank you for bringing back that race. You're welcome. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Some what? Never mind. I'm gonna take a few moments to compose myself. Hey, she has blue hair, huh? Thank you again. I feel like we don't see people with colored hair in here. Don't worry about sucker. Watch the Gravity Falls intro, it hits different or I shall. Ow. Who shot that? Why is she attacking me now? I 
crawl into the dropship. That still counts. <laughs> Why did she attack us? We need to we we need all to need to group up at some point. Gravity Falls intro. Are we just talking about the song? Because all I'm seeing is the song. I'm not seeing the actual like visuals. Or is this it? I guess this might be it. Sal, what's up? How's it going? Welcome in. There's a lot to process here. Good puppy. I'm doing good. We're just big chilling on some Fallout. Also getting some some cartoon nostalgia going. Already done. Um, I don't know if I already said it, but Helldivers is a badass like <laughs> that game makes you feel like a badass 24 7 it's great that's for the uh final okay that makes sense That's a hard mission. That mission is not easy. Who, who are you shooting at? Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. What is happening with these saves? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. And she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my I couldn't gun. find the right one. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her... All I saw were just songs. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. <laughs> I'm not against that. <laughs> Even if what you're saying is true, I, if that's not lucky... I mean, we need to take these. What? The I'm hell? off to try to fall out for a VR. Hell yeah. Good luck, American. <laughs> What's his journal, sir? It's been a minute. How's it going? Dang it, I didn't want to grab the gun. Waddles from Gravity Falls. Alright. <laughs> I will in a minute. Where are we? We're at Nipton. Did he just flip them off? Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened in the episode, but I remember SpongeBob and Patrick had to take care of this butterfly cocoon for Sandy, and when it hatched, it was real footage. Scared me bad. I feel like I remember that too.
I love when they would randomly use real footage in SpongeBob. He looks like Dahmer. Oh my god, he does. Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah. What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? The only lottery that matters. Oh, mm. oh my god. That seems Get like a good way for your microwave to last a long time. I mean, your, well, your microwave and your headset. Time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Should we kill him? Should we kill him? You guys are the voices in my head. Do we kill him? Kill him, yes. Take his lottery card. Alright, sounds good to me. That guy sounds like Spider-Man. <laughs> well, Spider-Man's missing a leg now. Max let the evil slip through sometimes. <laughs> Maybe a little more stable than, uh... Than El Burrito, but you know, he's still got issues. Look who won the lottery, boys! Max G Taco Fister. Listen, we we haven't been too evil so far. I mean, I did just kill that guy for his caps, but he also just killed a random woman, so I figured it works out. All oh, Taco Fister. Lots well, a crutch. I thought it was a weapon. And if I do, we are an alcoholic. I think it should be more peaceful sometimes. I agree. I very much agree. A nice little uh, shack you got here. Are you fucking kidding me? First I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking reaper. <laughs> what the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus uh, fucking Christ. <laughs> if you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Here, I got to go so I can play how dark get hurt. Have a good one. Spread democracy. What happened to this town? Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Why are you still here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. So, what is our stance on powder gangers? Do we kill them all? Or do we help some of them? <laughs> he, he's he's had a rough day, Mr. Boxcar. Boxcars, my bad. His voice actor was Yuri Lothar, or Spider-Man's voice actor. Ah, that makes more sense. The family-friendly stream. They just pay no attention to the bodies exploding. We'll, we'll give him some Maddox. And you're a fucking dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna give me? How much do you want? Big fucking deal. Hand it over. Okay, I'm starting to rethink this. Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. 
You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Uh, it escaped my mind. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mid. Have a good one, Coaster. Ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves. A nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. <laughs> he really can't stop, can he? Everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. Okay, kill him. <laughs> right. Losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck. He said it one too many times. They let go free. Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Like what? Alright, so we're killing him? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh. Now he didn't have anything. You see, <laughs> box cars, like fuck. You see, freaking profanity got that man killed. If he just was a little calmer, he might not have been shot in the back of the head. Does anyone here play or even know what ifs are, or should I explain? I don't know what that is. I know what if comics. <laughs> Ow. Looks as like it doesn't have any more fucking like <laughs> He's all out. Is that a mine just chilling right there? Arachnophobia just kicked in. <laughs> yeah, that that's not great for this game. I feel like this game in particular has more big bugs than than the other ones. Now I was trying to disarm that. Cool, we have radiation poisoning. Ow, I wasn't trying to do that. Fix this real quick. I think it's just because spiders bother me less now, but scorpions really make my arachnophobia. I don't understand how people have pet scorpions. I don't understand how people have pet, pet spiders either, but like, a scorpion, really? Interactive fiction. Um, 
I want to say I would know what that means, but yeah, I don't know what that means. Or how that works, I should say. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I always wanted to pet mouse as a kid, and people thought I was weird for that. See, that's not as weird, though. You can touch a mouse, you know what I mean? You don't want to touch a scorpion. That's a huge bitch. What's up, Sal? How's it going? I'm sure we're fine. But yeah, I already said how's it going. But yeah, I'm doing good as well. It, oh, it's because I got poisoned, isn't it? Oh wait, my thing is, my chat is broken, that's what's happening here. One second. Quick save, just in case. Let's fix chat. I was gonna say, I already said hi to Sal. Nomad, what's up? $20 worth of cool coins, what the heck's a cool coin? Have you ever seen a text-based game where you, all you can do is pick options for the store to go forward, or also change stats with either, yes. I've kind of dug those before in the past. They converted me to a furry for five cool coins, one week only. Then I'm returning to normal. I need them cool coins. <laughs> Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. Let me fix that. So AI dungeon. Yeah, that would be one of it. Weren't they called, like, uh, Choose Your Own Adventure, like, books and stuff, too? We're hurting on food. Took me two years to get one cool coin. Jeez, that's a grind. thing you saved yep this i'm definitely trying to get better about that because i um suffer wait you need you need cool coin to become a host for the game nights that kind of sucks i did not expect the bird to explode and i was also hoping we could maybe eat the bird i was wrong on both parts Turns out to mod, I need Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition and all DLCs in order to play Mala VOD VR. You don't have Game of the Year Edition? I only, I only say that because I just... At this point, I assume that's the only edition you can get. Two or five hours for five cool coins. That's kind of brutal. I guess I can try to play at base, but you don't have hands and guns don't work. Love that Todd Howard. 
Now that's a that's a weird uh, issue. Game of the year hides itself when I search for Fallout. Is it because you already own Fallout? Playing without the tick fix mod? Yes, I we are playing unmodded. I don't even know what the tick fix mod is, to be honest. Also, what's up, Weber? You raise a good point. I shouldn't have ate all this crap. Oh, well, I'd kind of like it to be morning as well. <laughs> You're running very fast because you have high frame rate. That's all. God, for, yeah. That makes a lot more sense because... Yeah. I hate that game speed is tied to Bethesda. I hate that game speed is tied to Bethesda frame rate. I searched it up, fall on game of the year edition, fallout doesn't appear. It only does it if you specifically search for it and scroll down a ton. That's strange. I remember I was like, man, I want Fallout 4 to run at a higher frame rate. So I uh, I looked how to freaking unlock the frame rate. Little did I know that it would make uh, lock picking hellish. The tick fix mods fixes all the fixes that are tied to frame rates. Ooh, we might have to get that. Don't worry. Although I'm not gonna lie, I had a hell of a time modding Fallout 3. It was rough. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. What lessons did you teach here? To begin, that they are weak and we are strong. This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. A town of whores? The town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Ha! Innocent. I think kind of innocent. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. So anyways, I'm gonna go off now and try and get a system down of when I go off stream and try to sleep now. I'll we'll finish watching my Inverter Zone episode then try to sleep guys. Bye. Have a good one Sam. Thanks for hanging out. I'm not gonna lie my brain wanted to say System of a Down and it made it completely broke my brain re that. But have a good one. Enjoy Invader Zone. As are all crimes, if you feel strongly about it, attack us and soon you won't feel a thing. Well, that one dude's got a chainsaw. Okay, they might have been right. 
Thought me not feeling a thing. I should have quick save before I shot him. Don't worry. That's not what I meant to do. Quick save. Use a grenade launcher on him. Ooh, thank you. That was a great idea, American. One tire. There it is. Oh, I killed the dog. You'll pay for that. I think he's too close. Okay, the grenade launcher is OP. Thank you, American. Wait till they're in a large group. That would have been smarter, but... Which message? I don't think I saw your message. Let me check. Now, AI Dungeons is entirely AI making a story for you to engage with. Ifs are made. Oops. It freaking went away. Ifs are made by humans with limited options, and the good ones most of the time are about men and words total. Yeah, I like those. I didn't know they were called. I always thought they were called like choose your own adventures, but I like those. Go for your goodbye. Also, eat up. Congrats on the mod. Damn, three mods, crazy. <laughs> Have a good one, Nomad. Yeah, we were we were having some issues. We needed more mods. Alright, um... We should have, yeah, we got a couple cowboy repeaters. There we go, that'll help. A decent amount of rounds for it too. Oh hey, that guy's still alive. That was the game that people thought was going to get PV and never got. What what game are you talking about? What? Alright, so they would die if we helped them. What about you?
Mercy killing? So that should count as a mercy killing. Ability shooter Bethesda owns. Oh god. I don't know what that one is. That sounds familiar though. It's always the head. Listen, it's the it's the go-to spot. It gets the job done. It was supposed to come out for the second game where Watch, which has been a big update. Are you sure you're not thinking of Overwatch? Because it's not owned by Bethesda if you're talking about Overwatch. Ow. Because Overwatch's second game definitely should have just been an update. You have to make him suffer a little while. <laughs> True. That was a mercy killing, though, so technically we didn't want to make him suffer. Oh yes, I'm at Blizzard. I'm an idiot. Consistently get a mix up. That's fair, to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. Overwatch 2 is such a dumpster fire. And it's garbage because the first game was so good. I don't know how you screw that up as badly as they did. Ban for saying <laughs> fucking public chat. That's a little surprising. Although I know they've gone a little crazier about their chat moderation. Yeah, Blizzard has a rule of no swearing in all their games about mass murder. <laughs> they used to make such good games. I don't know what... I don't know what went wrong. How does a bullet take off a head so smoothly? That's what I think every time I get a kill in a fallout game but listen i'm just that good of a shot quickest shot in the west and none of these people had loot on them Cowboy repeater works great on these dogs, though.
Okay, I get it. We killed the dog. Oh, he's a dog. Yeah. MJ, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back. Doom Eternal from Google Play asking. <laughs> what? Was it the one you're playing for the uh, cool coins? I take it back. You take what back? Wait, is this Fallout? Never mind. Yeah, this is Fallout. You're calling this Doom Eternal? How dare you? This game's a legend. Worst part, multiple characters in Overwatch 2 swear in their dialogue, meaning they aren't following their own terms of service. They're... Blizzard's strange, man. I think that wasn't enough. My dad just got Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Hell yeah. So he's going from 4 to 3, huh? That is pretty much the trajectory I took as well. With an older indie game, you remember that the game where the guy falls asleep on his couch while drinking beer? He sees that the beer is going to fall on something electric and kill him? I don't remember that, no. Yeah, I do not know that indie game. <laughs> Laser pistol, yes, thank you. Man, this dude had some books.
Dang it, I want to open the door. I want to open the door. I got no wish me luck. Good luck, Nomad. You got this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This, none of this helps us. Can maybe use some lock picking upgrades, but. Gotta live with what we got. I want to. I want to open it so bad. Don't let the Discord goblins get to you. I'll try. It can be hard sometimes. World map. The game was Suicide Guy? That was the name? Yeah, I've definitely never heard of that. I think I'd remember that. Stop anytime I want. Was it a fat guy? I don't know. If you like puzzle games, you should give it you should have it on your radar. I I am interested. I've been known to enjoy a puzzle game every now and again. At the very least, embarrass myself on a puzzle game every now and again. Is this supposed to be a Star Wars reference? I don't remember the name of Luke's aunt, but I'm pretty sure the uncle was Owen. Robbery Bob. Oh, Jesus. Where did you come from, sir? Prototype, Mr. Gutsy. Does junk what junk's got to weigh something, right? I don't. Know. Yeah, it does. Damn it. Pro social? I have not. What's that one? What that game do? I 
Rubber Bob was a mobile game where you would break into people's houses and steal things. It was level based, so no free exploring like that in Thief Sealer, and it was more of a puzzle game. That's kind of neat. I don't know why I'm exploring these houses considering we're too fat to frickin' pick up anymore. I just feel like we're walking slower now. It's made by an artist. If yes, it must be one heck of a journey. <laughs> uh, t -t -t -t. It's a very good horror game. Oh, oh I'm injured, that's why. Welcome to Nevada, looks familiar. Yeah. Like I said, doesn't really seem like the uh, the wasteland here. It just seems like freaking California and Nevada. God, we just cannot keep a healthy body part. Is art because they make all horror games. Oh god. Do California and Nevada usually have half burned cars in in dirt? Yes. <laughs> More than you would think, yes. Maybe not to this extent, but yeah, it, it, it's a lot more than you would expect. Just cars and dirt in general. It's, uh, what is this place? Furry schools? No, I don't even see it anywhere. Are you sure YouTube didn't like auto censor you? Or was it a while ago? It was the start of stream, basically. No, I didn't see that. I missed a lot of beginning stream. Uh content not content words kidnap the shop the coffee shop the bathhouse and many more they really uh they really have a name type and they just went with uh Weird that there's no one here. I feel like someone should be here. A school probably in America allows students to show up in furry suit in full furry suits. Ah 
That's weird. <laughs> that... I don't know, that's weird. You know, there's those schools that, like, uh... Tell... Girls to dress moderately. Because it'll distract the other students. I feel like the same would apply for, uh, furries. That's really strange. Ooh. This thing's actually in good condition. We're not selling that. It's a middle school. That's that's a pretty wild one. Yeah, I'd have not heard that. That's really wild. I'm not sure where they were shooting at. Were they shooting at the ghoul that was standing on top of them? Wait, middle school. <laughs> I think it was YouTube automatically hiding your message. What was it? <laughs> they do like doing that. I hear gunshots, but I don't know where they're coming from. This place looks interesting. Maybe we can sell some crap. It's gotta have a shop here, right? Is there anyone even here? Ooh, we leveled up. Let's cap out guns. I deleted it by accident. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military. Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give this. Yeah, I think if back. YouTube censors it, not even the mods see the message. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say eight out of ten recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a deathclaw. A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this. Oh, I'm at a school man. That's man really station, weird. Patrol the immediate area. You see my message about protest? Mm. The students even protested. One of the students says he was a bit... On, he was bit on the foot and was suspended for kicking the person for biting him. There is no way that's real. That can't be real. Like the biting part, at least. There's no way. The Rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A 
trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. All quiet at Man, do you have anything to buy? That's all I want. I don't care about your supplies or your people. I just I just want to sell some stuff, man. One of the furries was on the video since the protest was in front of the school. That's just... That's wild. I mean, even if you're into that, I don't really care if you're into that, but like... <laughs> I do think you should probably dress normal at school. But maybe maybe I'm finally, finally becoming an old fart. Please, I just need to sell some stuff. Hey there. Supposed to be a learning experience, not dress up. True. to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Those things are expensive. Those stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. Where's that friggin' my mirror? Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> What's going on, man? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need. Aren't all of them kind of custom, though? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Who's buying this Elon Musk? <laughs> well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. No, I mean very um, okay, fair enough. Howdy. 
Ranger Andy. We haven't met yet. Oh. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough. Right. I'll say I don't care what somebody is into before he's insists. As long as they don't do it, it's uh legal. Yeah, I just don't think yeah. I don't care what anybody does, but I do think specifically that in particular, bringing to school is kinda wild. Yeah. Twice. Actually, People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head, you know? Let me show you. You learn the Ranger takedown special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. I don't know what that means. But I'm down. The hell's a power attack? You a traitor? Oh yes, yes, thank you. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. You have any luck with the ghouls? Boone's a sniper. Great. I wouldn't trade it. Something. Uh, plus, I was up at Camp. Nighttime sniper. Just head over to the rep. That's everything. Anyway, I think I'm out on yours. That's. Some pretty wild news you had, though. Go. I don't know what to talk about. No. Things and stuff? Wait, it's this way? I thought it was the other way. For some reason I thought it was out this way. Uh, I also missed the end of the last fire stream. Um, where are we right now? Look who's here. What brings you here? 
God. Uh, we figured out how to gamble. We we got a new sheriff in that town. Um, and we're just continuing on the hunt for the guy that essentially killed us. This is just a dead glowing one here. I had to go to my brother's apartment. Very fair. But yeah, not much happened. We did a lot of gambling. We figured out how to play caravan. <laughs> did you guys see the Trump speech? Which one? Doesn't he do one like every day? But no, I have not. Because he's like constantly on tour pretty much. You just got all these shelves just chilling here. Do like all the ammo though. Are those all caps? Yes, please. This place looks cool. This place looks really cool, actually. We'll refrain from building a human flesh collection. But we will continue to build our bottle caps. No, it's still Biden. Biden's still president. God, they suffer so much. It's weird for a president to compliment China. Ooh. Fair. It's where they used to make rockets. Big staircase. Oh. What the heck? He's blue. 
That's cool. Yeah, I knew it'd be one too many of these. I know, you're, you're all good, man. How's it going? How's it been? I'll take your stem pack. Here is someone wrong. But I mean in general, even people that are running tend to talk crap about China and Russia and stuff. Did he just kill himself? What the hell was that? pushed me off. What does that even mean? What is a best criminal? Twenty two damage or 24. Well, we're going to 24 then. Honestly, I don't think he knows. Fair. <laughs> Listen, your country may have... Your country may have criminals, but our criminals are the best criminals. I can't do a good Trump. That wasn't obvious. Now that sounds accurate. That sounds like something he would do. God, we hacked our way in here for a whole bunch of nothing. Also, we had a book that it looked like we didn't read yet. Or I guess it's under aid. I don't know how we could have missed it. Oh, it's right there. Jesus, we kept missing it. Oh, that's just... That's just a part of all of his speeches nowadays. going to be less often because of school 
School's starting back up for you? Because we have like reverse seasons, right? Yeah, oh, very understandable. We will miss you though. But good luck in your school academic endeavors. This is a freaking labyrinth. Doing well, so I'm not really worried about it. Hell yeah. Because they took our jobs. They took our jobs. I do take my days off because I'm sick or dizzy. I mean, that's a good reason to take days off, though. I'd say that's pretty fair. So it's all about branding. You got to make sure you got the slogans. Little bastard freaking fly off to. Thank you for all the bottle caps. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll be watching me. Who's he? Oh, Jesus. You ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Yeah, you're not a ghoul. What the hell? Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. I have so many questions. Where the hell did you come from? Sound cut off a little. Hey. Where do we go? Do we just go up the stairs? It's good now, though, right? The sound. Oh. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. You can be a glowing one and still sane. The great journey. I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. 
All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are those the Nightkins or whatever? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. We are back to talk to my mom real quick. Alright, no problem. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us. American politics are kind of. They're kind of fucked. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? The Wanderer. Yes, I'm the Wanderer. Like, he has a shot at becoming president. He's got a big shot. I think... I think there's a good chance he'll win. But it's like, look at what he's running up against. He's running up against a corpse, so it's like... Pick your poison. Praise the creator. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Is the way clear? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the great journey. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out, somehow. And now yeah, I really, I really w hope we get better options in the future. Far beyond. Please, wanderer. <laughs> bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is It's literally the South Park show, the freaking douche or the turd sandwich. Here, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great. Morning. Is there a quick way down? Down? Welcome back, MJ. There's not a quick way down. I wasn't trying to steal anything. I know what the basement's like right here, never mind. Cooking noodles right now. Hell yeah. Freaking game crash. What happens if you don't kill a single ghoul and talk to the glowing guy? That's a good question. It's got to make a difference, right? For real. 
Doc coming for our goodies. God, but are you? Are you kidding me? It didn't save. Ugh. That freaking blows. <clears throat> Well, at least it's around that time anyway, so this is where we'll end certain ghoul pacifist run. I'm down with that. It might be a little late for us on this run, though, but I'm down to try on future runs. The trolls are not here. Yes, surprisingly, they are not. But yeah, thank you everybody for coming out. I hope you had a good one. It's been fun. We will be back on Monday with something. I don't know if it'll be God of War or more Fallout. Uh, we might try and do a stream tomorrow. Not sure. Probably won't do one. Oh, we might do one Monday too. No guarantees on the weekend stream. But anyway, hope everyone had a good one. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.